Hey guys, I'm Sneha and if you're watching my channel for the first time, please don't forget to hit on that subscribe button. So today I'm sharing 5 Indian hair growth secrets. These are the secrets which have been acquired over generations, given to us by our grandmoms, by mothers and the Indian women in general who follow these rules and achieve great results incorporating some food items in their daily life or some herbal or Ayurvedic products which are available easily and they are really cost effective. So tip number one is the direction in which you wash your hair. So generally most of us tend to wash our hair in this direction in the shower or while we are taking a bath but what you've got to do is just flip your hair upside down uh, when you flip your hair upside down so the hair roots receive proper amount of air so when you're flipping your hair upside down and massaging the shampoo into the scalp so it increases the blood circulation in your scalp so this massaging helps to stimulate the hair follicles and the roots of the hair which in turn helps in increased hair growth in a short period of time. So tip number two is the frequency in which you shampoo. So generally you will see people uh, who are inching towards longer hair, they do not shampoo very often. For me, I shampoo just once or twice in a week, that's it. Most people I've seen shampoo daily or even every alternate day. So when you're shampooing, it strips off all the natural oils of your hair. So your natural um, cells in the hair, the oil glands, they get confused whether you have to produce, whether they should produce more oil or not. So this in turn hampers your hair growth rate. Also the uh, shampoos that we use in our daily life are full of chemicals. So if we shampoo very frequently, what it does it, it just all the shampoo gets built up, the chemicals get built up in the hair follicles and hair roots and they clog the pores of the hair. Follicles get clogged, not enough oxygen or blood is reaching. So this hampers your hair growth in the longer run. Point number three is a DIY homemade hair oil. So I've made this hair oil on my channel before and I'll link it here for you guys to check it out. So this is a DIY Kalonji or black seed hair oil. So Kalonji or the black seed is known to provide extreme hair growth, to provide black, long and extremely moisturized and nourished hair. Apart from Kalonji or black seed, this hair oil also has mustard oil, castor oil and amla. And these are some exceptionally good ingredients for your hair. Uh, amla has a lot of vitamin C, so it gives a lot of antioxidants to the body. Then castor oil helps in fighting hair fall and mustard oil gives those shiny black long hair. Tip number four is the type of foods that you need to incorporate in your daily routine. So what I do every night before going to bed, I soak a handful of almonds in water and the next morning I just peel them off and have those soaked almonds after having my morning tea or with my breakfast. Uh, so these dry nuts or the dry fruits help in providing the nutrition that we are not getting from our uh, foods that we are eating. Apart from almonds, another one is cashews. Now most of us steer clear of cashews because we think it is a product which increases the cholesterol level in the body. But if you are suffering from a lot of hair fall or if you are looking forward to provide that adequate nutrition to help in hair growth, cashews have a lot of magnesium in them and magnesium is extremely important for your hair growth, for the overall hair health. Apart from these dry fruits, I would recommend having onion in any form in your diet. So we like to have onion in our salads, also onion in our various gravies and curries that we prepare at home. But if you're having raw onions in salads, onion has a compound known as sulfur, which are the building blocks of your hair. So make sure you have enough sulfur in uh, your diet and raw onion or onion in the form of salads is one of the best sources of giving that sulfur to your body. So tip number five is use of a clarifying and nourishing hair mask for uh, the scalp. So what this clarifying mask does it, it has multani mitti and curd in it. So multani mitti helps uh, to get rid of all the buildup that has been there on the scalp, on the hair follicles. So the scalp or the roots of the hair are clean enough to, so that all the products that you're applying in their hair they work for your hair type 
and the curd in the hair pack provides adequate nutrition and nourishment so when your hair scalp is clean and your hair is nourished whatever food you are intaking it helps in your hair growth and hair nourishment so these were my five indian hair growth secrets if you found this video useful don't forget to give this a like and do not forget to share this with your friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to click on that icon here and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you very soon bye bye